Hey, Trent, it's David Hood with TigerNet. Describe your first experience playing at Notre Dame, uh, getting the chance to be out on the field and, and make plays, and some of your takeaways from your performance. Uh, it was a great feeling. Um, way to start my career off, you know, with a great team to play against. I mean, my first start. Um, I felt like I played pretty good. I mean, some things I can correct, but also I'm proud of myself. Um, really good team. I mean, really great game. I was prepared, and I, I'm just proud of myself the way I played. And, I mean, it was just great to be in that type of atmosphere and see what it's like now during the season. So once we get to the postseason like, or, like, playoffs and stuff, I won't be phased by the moment. And it was just a great experience for me. Have you had a chance to, to talk to, to Coach Venables yet and maybe look at some game film to see some of the things that he said you did well and maybe some things that, hey, you're going to have to work on? Uh, yes, sir. We talked a little bit after the game, but, um, but I'm about to go watch a little bit of film after this for sure with a couple of my coaches and uh, correct some things that I made mistakes on during the game. Yes, sir. Trenton, uh, Larry Williams with TigerIllustrated.com here. Uh, is it the ultimate sign of trust in a linebacker uh, from Coach Venables that you're allowed to, I guess, or you're trusted to uh, cover re uh, receivers downfield as well as, as being a sort of an inside-the-box player? Uh, yeah, yes, sir, definitely. He watched me a couple times at one one-on-one this week. And, um, I mean, we've been they've been working on that with me since I got here because that's something new to me. Um, I've been working on that technique every day in practice. Um, so, I mean, yeah, he definitely had to trust me. He had to see me do it against our best receivers in practice and one-on-one -on -one drills and things like that to trust me enough to go out there and execute it in the game and uh, make sure no one catches a pass on me. How, how much has your, has your knowledge and comfort uh, increased just in the last few weeks, just from being on the field and doing it in real game situations? Uh, it's my knowledge, just confidence of being out there now. It's just increased a lot. When I go out there now, it's, it's getting back to being comfortable and starting to feel more like practice, you know, being in the swing of things, being able to talk to my teammates while I'm on the field. I'm getting a, a very comfortable with these last two games under my belt now. I feel like I can go out there. I'm confident now. I'm comfortable. And uh, I feel great now playing in front of teams like that and also stages like that. Hey, Trenton, this is Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Looked like you uh, you almost had a, a big um, tackle for loss there late in the game um, against uh, Notre Dame. Um, just how hard was Williams to, to kind of wrap up? Uh, he was really good, uh, really good back, you know, uh, very powerful, low to the ground. So, I mean, pass off to him. He was very prepared, pretty good. I mean, really good running back. So, I mean, pass off to him. And, I mean, just some things I got to work on, you know, and make that tackle next time. David, again, it, and, and watching it, it looked like even though it was a loss, that you were having the time of your life out there. Just several times the TV camera kind of caught you and you were smiling. What's going through your mind during the middle of the game? Did, did you ever take just a moment to kind of to, to kind of look around and say, I'm playing at Notre Dame and it's a great game and, and just kind of embrace the moment? Yeah. I mean, even when I put on my pads every time when I know it's time to go play and I look at my – Last name on my jersey, I smile. But I mean, as I was playing that game and uh, just the way it happened and just, man, I was just happy to be out there and just, I'm proud to see how I'm performing now and just taking advantage of the moment. I mean, I was, I mean, going to Notre Dame, seeing the stadium, you know, it was very nice. But once we got on the field and it was time to play, that kind of washed out of my brain and I was just playing. But I mean, it was moments in the game where, man, I was just excited of the plays that was being made and my teammates were making plays and I mean, it's just a fun game for me. I mean, when I lost, I learned a lot from this game, and I did have a fun time. I think, you know, we, we don't know about Mike Jones' health. We assume he'll be healthy coming back. But even if he comes back 100%, it appears you'll be a major part of the game plan going forward. Will this help you going into this championship phase of the season and an ACC championship game that when Mike maybe comes off the field, there is no drop-off? Oh, yes, sir. That's the goal in the, in the locker room every day for every position on our team. No drop off. So, I mean, yes, sir, definitely. Once he gets back, I mean, we're both trying to go out there and have a great game and execute the plan Coach V gives us. So, I mean, yes, sir, definitely no drop off and just being ready, being prepared, watching film and, you know, just doing the right things.
Any other questions for Trent? Yeah, I'll, I'll ask. There was a, a point there. I don't know if it was in the third or fourth quarter, but, um, you know, I, I don't know if it was your guy to cover, but you kind of took a wrong angle on the tackle and he got around you. And then I saw some conversations on the sideline. Is that one of the the learning moments that, that you know, it, it's still trying to, to learning how to play this position that you can take and, and grow from it? Yes, sir, definitely. Um, that was a play I make every damn practice, you know, a bad angle, didn't make the tackle. But, I mean, I learned a lot from Coach V to say, next time make sure you make that, that tackle and don't let your brothers down. You know, that's easy tackle, just rack and roll, get them to the ground, you know. And uh, that was on me, but definitely this week in practice, this ball week, and next week just working on simple back-to-basics tackling and things like that, you know, and it won't happen no more. At one point, I think six or seven starters are out for the defense late in the game and a bunch of guys out on the field who were playing high school this time last year. Do you guys take pride in the fact that, that you're stepping up at such a young age and, and you know, providing snaps for this group while everybody gets healthy? Yes, sir, definitely. Um, in the meeting room and on the practice field, Coach V holds us to the same standard or even more than the older guys for moments like this to make sure we're prepared so if someone does go down, we can step in the game and uh, – don't be faced by the moment and go out there and handle business just as if we were starters or upperclassmen also.